Hi, I'm Glenn Dewis, and in this video, I want to show you how you can add mood and atmosphere to your pictures using color and Photoshop lookup tables. Plus, at the end, I'm going to show you a very quick and simple way that you can then save unique looks and apply them with just one click. Okay, so this is actually an update to a video I showed earlier on on my YouTube channel showing how you can use lookup tables to add mood and atmosphere to your pictures. Now, if we come over to the layers panel over on the right hand side, you'll see here at the top of the layers panel, I've got a group which I've named LUT, which stands for lookup tables. And in here, there are various number of adjustments. Now, if I turn that group on and off, you can see the change that's giving our pictures. Color has been added to really increase the mood and atmosphere. And that's done using a combination of lookup tables and different adjustments. So I'll take you through the process of how we can use this, and then we'll show you at the end how you can then save those looks and apply them with just one click. So let me start by deleting that group. Now, lookup tables are an adjustment layer in Photoshop, and they're found in the top right-hand corner of the screen. This is three by three grid. Now I'm gonna click on that grid, and when we do that, it opens up the properties, and we can see three menus. Now, generally, I only ever use the top menu. So let me just show you the process of how we can change the look of our picture using these options in the menu here. So I'm gonna open this menu up, and we can see there's a whole load of one-click effects that we can apply. Now I'm going to come down to the very, very bottom, and a recipe I'm going to create is starting off with this one here called Tension Green, and I'm going to click on that. Now you can see straight away that the look it gives may not be the kind of look that you want to apply to a picture. It may work on some, but it certainly doesn't work on this one. And this is sometimes how people can get turned off from using lookup tables. They don't like what comes out of the bag straight away. But remember, lookup table adjustments are an adjustment layer. And because they're an adjustment layer, we then have opacity and blend modes and many other things available to us to be able to change it so it looks exactly how we want it to do. Now with this one here, I'm not gonna use a blend mode, I'm only gonna use opacity. So let me just start then by reducing the opacity of this particular adjustment here down to maybe 30%. Now I'm gonna add a few more of these lookup table adjustments to create the exact look that I want here. So I'm gonna come back over to the adjustments in the top right hand corner and click to add another. This time again, I'll go to the top menu and I'll come down to one here called Edgy Amber. And we can see there, it's a bit too strong. So I wanna reduce the opacity of that one down to 20%. I'm gonna add another, and this time we're gonna choose one from the top menu called Foggy Night. And that does tend to wash out the image there, but again, I'm just gonna dial in the strength that I want on this one to give it exact how I want it to look. So I'll take that one down to 10%, add another, and I'll choose one here called uh, Crisp Winter. I really like the way that adds that blue in there. I did think of actually stopping at this point because I quite like that look, but we'll carry on. I'm gonna reduce the opacity in that one there down to 20%, and we'll just add a couple more adjustments here. There's one here called uh, Full Colors, and we'll take that one down to uh, 20%. And then we'll just go one more, but this time I'm gonna desaturate the image just a little bit. And I'm gonna do that using a black and white, but a gradient map. So I'm gonna press D on my keyboard to set my foreground and background colors to the default of black and white. Then come over to a gradient map adjustment, click on that, and straight away out the bag, it gives me a really nice black and white. And this is maybe 99% of the times how I do my black and white adjustments but I'm gonna use this just to reduce the saturation. So we'll take it down to maybe around about 20%. So now then, if I put all these um, adjustments together here, let's just, we've got the uppermost one selected. I'm gonna hold down my shift key and click on the very first adjustment. And I'm gonna to go to the fly out menu in the top right hand corner of the layers panel and choose new group from layers. And we'll call this LUT. So you can see now, when we turn this on and off, the kind of effect that we've got. Very simple, very quick. But imagine now if we had a whole series of pictures we wanted to apply this look to. We certainly don't want to have to keep repeating this process again and again and again. So let's now try and save this particular look so that we can apply it as a one click. And first of all, I'm gonna show you how you don't do it. I'm gonna show you the wrong way, because it may be that later you maybe miss something out and you're gonna wonder why you're not getting the looks you want. This could be the reason why, but let me show you now how you don't do it. Okay, so in the layer stack now, we have all the layers leading up to the retouching part here where we've got the uh, things like texture being added, the background dodging and burning and so on. And then we've also got the adjustments we've just applied. Now, we're gonna go to the file menu. Then we're gonna choose export. 
and we're going to choose Color Lookup Tables. So we'll click on that. Now the description here, we'll just call this uh, Ian Mun. Whoops, Ian Munro, because this was from a photo shoot with my friend Ian Munro, a photographer in Wales. And everything else I'm going to leave here the same. Just make sure this is my own choice here. Where it says quality, I leave it to say 64 high. Then I'm going to click OK. Now I need to choose where I'm going to save this particular lookup table to, and I'll just for now put it onto the desktop, but I'm going to rename this one wrong, because it's the wrong way of doing it. Then I'm going to click Save. So now, my lookup table adjustment has now been saved, so it's available to me to apply as a one click. So let's just rewind. Let's just take off all these adjustments here. Now, I'm going to go to the lookup table adjustment layer in the top right hand corner, and again, I'm going to go to that top menu and open it up. But this time, I'm going to click a second time where it says Load 3D LUT. And when I do that, it's going to give me my desktop. And we can see here the lookup table that we've just saved is now on my desktop. So I'm going to click on that one and then load it to apply that look onto my picture. But you probably see it won't give the look that we originally saved. So you can see now, something has definitely gone wrong. Clearly we saved it incorrectly. What I mean by that is when we save these lookup table adjustments, these one click effects, there are certain layers that we have to have on and certain layers that we have to have off. So now I want to show you the correct way of doing it. So let me just take this picture back to how it was when we first started. So I'll go File and Revert. So this now takes us to the point where we've got all those adjustment layers at the top of the layer stack. So here's what we need to do to save it correctly. I'm going to leave on all the adjustment layers that we've just applied, but then I'm going to go to the other layers in the layer stack and turn them off. So I'll take off their visibility. The only one I'm going to leave on is our original background layer. So now when we look at the layers panel, the only layers that we have turned on and visible are the background layer, and then all the adjustments that we've used to give our picture that unique look. Now bear in mind, the adjustments that you actually add into here to create the look don't just have to come from the lookup table adjustments here. They can also come from any other adjustment layers where you can apply the looks that you want. You could use color balance, hue and saturation, so on and so forth, just to create the unique look you want. Now, once you've created that look, you're then gonna go to the file, export, and we'll go back to that one here, Color Lookup Tables. We'll again use the description here of Ian Munro because this has come from the Ian Munro photo shoot. Quality, 64 high, and click OK. Now this time we'll save this one on our desktop, but I'm gonna call this one Right, because it's the right way of doing it. And then we'll click Save. So now, let's just remove all those adjustment layers that have given the look, we'll delete those. And we'll just turn on the visibility of all the layers of retouching that we've done so far. So imagine now you've opened your picture, you've done lots of work on it, you now want to add that mood and look to it, and now you've got a look that you saved earlier that you want to apply. We're now gonna to go to our lookup table adjustment layer. We go back to that top menu, we click where it says load 3D LUT, that then gives us our open dialog where we can click to choose the lookup table adjustment we want to apply, Here's the one called Right. I'll click Load on that one, and then Photoshop will apply that look, and you'll notice it looks exactly how it should do. And there you go. So now you could very quickly and easily apply this to many, many other images from that same photo shoot. So the only thing to remember when you're saving these particular unique looks that you're creating, make sure that the layers containing the adjustments are visible, Every other layer in the layer stack is turned off, except for the background layer. Okay, so that's all for this video. If you haven't already, make sure you click on that subscribe button. That's just a way of kind of adding this channel to your favorites. And also, if you like the video, give us a thumbs up below, and please feel free to share it with others so that we can expand this channel and really keep those numbers growing. Any questions you've got, leave them in the comment section below. I'll be sure to get back to you. But for now, it's goodbye, and I'll see you next time.